Hello, my name is Ellen Donnelly, and I'm the newly appointed CEO of Obliva, having joined the company on February 3rd. Obliva, based in Lund, Sweden, is a publicly traded company listed on the NASDAQ Stockholm Exchange with a current market cap of around $30 million. The portfolio, based on the last 20 years of research in mitochondrial medicine from Lund University, is comprised of first-in-class disease-modifying therapies that have the potential to dramatically alter the life of patients with primary mitochondrial diseases, rare diseases with blockbuster potential. The Obliva team is currently working to ensure our lead asset, KL1333, enters a global phase 2-3 pivotal study later this year, while a second compound in the portfolio, NV354, will complete preclinical development and push towards the filing of an IND. The mitochondria are known as the powerhouse of the cell. These tiny organelles found in almost every cell in your body are responsible for converting nutrients and oxygen into the energy or ATP that the cells need. When these mitochondria become dysfunctional, either through mutations in DNA or through pathogenesis, they cause cell death and organ failure. We are focused on primary mitochondrial diseases, the diseases in which the deterioration and cell death are due to mutations in your genetic code. These mitochondrial diseases are often diagnosed in young children and their short life is one of debilitating symptoms and continuous deterioration of the organ systems and early death. There are no approved medicines for systemic PMD, so patients are given palliative therapy that attempts to address specific symptoms. Primary mitochondrial diseases are the most common hereditary metabolic diseases and affect an estimated 12.5 people in every 100,000. The team at Obliva is focused on creating value by making a difference for our patients. The two lead assets, KL1333 and NV354, have complementary mechanisms which suggest not only symptomatic relief for the patient, but also the potential for disease modification. After regulatory discussion with the FDA, the decision was made to move KL1333 directly into the pivotal phase 2-3 study, a study that will commence in late 2021. NV354, currently in preclinical development, is moving towards IND filing. Both therapies are targeting diseases of primary mitochondrial dysfunction and thus come with the regulatory and commercial advantages inherent in an orphan disease development program. A strong IPS state supports the Oblivo portfolio. KL1333 will target the spectrum disorders MILAS-MID and KSS-CPEO. In these diseases, patients have symptoms that worsen continuously. The main symptoms are fatigue, muscle weakness, and exercise intolerance. Many of the patients have difficult to treat mitochondrial diabetes, and they also have symptoms from other impacted organs. We estimate that there are approximately 40,000 patients in the U.S. and Europe that suffer from these two primary mitochondrial diseases. KL1333 restores mitochondrial function by normalizing the ratio of NAD to NADH. The increase of NAD plus in oxidative phosphorylation causes an increase in ATP and thus increases energy production. This increase also causes mitochondrial biogenesis or the production of new mitochondria. KL1333 is well positioned for the upcoming pivotal study with a strong preclinical data package. A good safety profile is demonstrated in our completed phase one studies and a convenient oral formulation that will be able to be administered chronically. I'd be remiss to continue without showing a bit of data. The data on the left shows a statistically significant reduction in NAD plus in patients suffering from PMD, both in their blood and in their muscles. In the figure in the center, KL1333 treatment causes a statistically significant increase in the NAD plus NADH ratio in MELIS patient fibroblasts. On the right, KL1333 also causes an increase in mitochondrial mass in those same patient fibroblasts. This data, in combination with the other data from the Obliva team, supports the progression of KL1333 into the upcoming pivotal trial. The team is now concentrating on key activities to support a clinical start for KL1333 in the second half of this year, a start that is supported by the FDA and the MAJ. As you can see, there are a number of key milestones over the next six months. For a readout from our patient data from our ongoing phase 1b study, the DDI study results, and a readout of the complementary dosing study to optimize the dose for our upcoming study. We will also have results from the patient reported endpoints validation study. The second half of the year will bring important pivotal study start, as well as the readout from the long-term toxicology program. 
The Believe a Team puts the patient in the center of everything we do. We took our learnings from the Voice of the Patient Symposium and continue to develop our thinking. Over the next year, we plan to continue to grow our collaborations with patient organizations and treating physicians. We will continu continue patient interviews to validate the assessments we will use for our pivotal study. And we look forward to completing our patient registry study in the UK. Now, turning over to our second program, NV354, an energy replacement therapy for patients with Lee syndrome. Lee syndrome is a disorder of severe symptoms with episodic worsening. Patients have developmental delay, psychomotor regression, and hypotonia due to progressive degeneration of the brain. As mitochondria are found in all of the organs, multisystemic involvement occurs. The life expectancy of these children is less than five years, and the incidence is 25 out of every 1 million live births. The program may be expanded to the primary mitochondrial disorder, Leber's hereditary optic neuropathy, and Melis with CNS syndrome symptoms. NV354 is a prodrug of succinate, which restores the energy production by bypassing the primary def defect in complex one of the electron transport chain. The therapy is intended to be a chronic oral treatment that causes acute restoration of energy production while also preventing further disease deterioration. NV354 is currently in preclinical development with the goal to start progressing to IND later this year. In summary, Obliva is well positioned to become a dominant player in the treatment of mitochondrial diseases. The company's lead asset, KL1333, will move into a pivotal phase 2-3 study later in the year with NV354 working towards IND filing. Both compounds are first-in-class opportunities with the potential for disease modification. Our low valuation and potential for marketing application in 2024 make the company an attractive opportunity for new investors. I look forward to speaking with some of you during this important conference. Thank you.